Hey folks, and I'll be all here, and welcome to the second day of the second week of uh, Grand Arena Season 12. Um, today is going to be a really special day. There's a couple of reasons. One is I'm going to be on a live stream with uh, Zarath and Solo Base on their uh, Gambit live stream. So the, the, the majority of the next one hour is going to be me doing my Grand Arena battles live with them. Um, and we're going to be chatting about stuff and uh, interacting with the audience as well. Um, the second reason uh, why it's a, it's a little bit of a, an unusual episode is because uh, we're facing our current opponent is, uh, is Barrow from uh, Ordin 77 Argentina. And uh, my current opponent uh, is really, really uh, interesting because um, I highly suspect that they're involved in, uh, in APKing, which means that they use a, a, a mod set to change their stats to uh, to cheat in Grand Arena Championships. So at least that's the suspicion. And why do I think that uh, that my opponent cheats at uh, at Grand Arena? Let me uh, let me show you what I found out from their Grand Arena history. So while I was scouting my opponent, I took a look at the Grand Arena history and I noticed a lot of really really strange battles which I just wasn't able to explain. I mean, look at this one, for example. There's a Night Sister battle against uh, Bounty Hunters where the Night Sisters ended with full health and full protection after a two minute battle, which is really strange given that uh, Night Sisters have no way of recovering protection. Similarly, with the, with the Treya team, they have no way of recovering protection, but they've got uh, full 60 banners against a Night Sister team, which is infamous for taking out not only protection but health as well. Um, and look at this, uh, uh, one of their battles had them going against a, an ultimate ray with the Hero Brothers, uh, with Kylo Ren, undersized, and usually this battle ends with 47 to 46 banners, but they ended with 61 banners, with full health and full protection on all characters. Um, similarly over here, Darth Revan team were the, against a Grievous squad, where the only one missing protection was Nihilus, uh, was, uh, was Darth Malak. But everyone else is with full health and full protection. Really suspect battles. So tons of other battles over here where, uh, like, like this one for example, I never even knew that Treya could beat uh, Darth Revan uh, with the full 60 banners with uh, you know, with, with Maul and Savage in there. Uh, and and look at these two battles over here. He's, uh, he's beat, managed to beat an ultimate uh, uh, Kylo Ren, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, with a Padme team, with Padme with C-3PO, um, which is really weird for 57 banners. And then Gas with, uh, he's able to beat Gas. Uh, he's able to beat SLKR with the Gas team with for a full 60 banners. And it's a three minute battle. And you can see over here that none of the characters have lost any protection at all, which is highly suspicious. So tons of other battles like these where, uh, and I only got like the eight, most suspicious looking battles but there are tons of other battles like these that I noticed including in ships where he's got 70 to 72 banners against fleets like Malevolence and Negotiator which is just highly unlikely. So I knew for sure that this my, my current opponent is uh, is doing a cheat code which is why I uh, obviously, I, obviously I was a little disappointed but uh, going into the, uh, the, the match, the live stream, I, I did a couple of things which uh, I'll talk about towards the end of the video but I'm going to uh, I'm going to switch it over to the live stream now and then you guys will uh, will get to see my whole attack phase and towards the end I'll talk about the final results and uh, and what actions I took to to handle this cheater in uh, in GAC. All right, let's uh, move on to the live stream. And we're back. And this time Endall is going, so you're going to see much smarter gameplay than mine. So Endall, take it away. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Solo. So uh, today we have a really interesting opponent. Uh, probably the very first time that I'm facing uh, a guy using an APK. And uh, for those of you who are not familiar with uh, with what APK means, it's essentially uh, you know people using a cheat uh, mod to to try to modify the stats uh, of their uh, of their teams when they go into battle, and then they end up winning. So if you go into this guy's uh, GAC history. And uh, and see the kind of battles that he has. 
uh, he's like, you know, getting 60 banners with uh, his Padme team versus Ultimate SLKRs, for example, or getting uh, 60 banners with uh, with uh, Gas versus SLKR, or uses Treya to beat DR, and so on and so forth. So, um, so I noticed this, and uh, um, obviously, it's uh, you know. Um, uh, these kind of matches, it's uh, it's it, it gets really tough because you know you 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 hear all this news about CG cracking down on cheaters and all of that. So I I was really disappointed to be uh, to see that these kind of guys are still out there. But uh, but I've gone ahead and uh, you know um, uh, sent out a note to uh, CG uh, um, and about this thing. So essentially, you know, um, reached out to CG Leviathan, CG Lucifer's Daddy, and they're looking into this particular account. So all I can do right now is just you know go in and uh, and enjoy my my uh, my grand arena offense. <laughs> Nothing else I can do, I guess. So there are essentially two outcomes. I mean, the the reason that uh, that I'm okay with with this is there there are two things. Um, I actually reached out to this guy and I told him that uh, uh, I I know you you got, you are using an APK and cheating and I've reached out to CG so you know uh, those guys are watching you so be on the lookout. Um, so I don't think that he's going to be using an APK for this match, but there there are two possible outcomes. You know, one is he doesn't cheat and then uh, he ends up losing because uh, he's got a, a relatively weaker roster, weaker mods and all of that. And uh, um, so if he if he doesn't cheat, he ends up uh, losing anyway because I'll probably clear him with more efficiency. <laughs> so I, I, get to, I get to do what I want on offense. Um, the second scenario is he does cheat, in which case he'll beat my score even if I make 1940 or something like, uh, 2140 or something like that. In which case, again, it's uh, it makes sense for me to do what I want. So in either case, I think I should just, um, what I'm going to do is my plan for today is to go and enjoy my offense as much as I can and uh and do creative things uh you know just have fun and uh and uh, yeah let's uh let's see let's see how it goes we're not here all to right. have fun yeah we're all here <laughs> to have fun <laughs> but there's a third outcome actually because uh Le cg leviathan actually just reached out to me a couple of hours ago and they're they're going to be looking into this guy's account and, and history within the next uh few hours so there might be a very strong possibility that this guy is banned by tomorrow morning and he <laughs> back on offense so in which case also i get to win and uh, you know my offense doesn't matter so this is a very low pressure <laughs> match for me right now on the live stream <laughs> everything's coming up end yeah. all here and end all uh moon just said just padme is slkr it's no problem <laughs> yeah yeah 57 banners with padme gk yeah C-3PO against SLKR. It's, uh, I wonder, yeah. I wonder if that's on the GA stats. Yeah, right? Well, I'm sure it is, because they have no way to tell it's a cheater. Yeah. Like, oh, someone's doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the, the other thing I did was I reached out to this guy's guild leader and uh, and told him that I reached out to CG. <laughs> so, um, so he might probably get kicked out from his guild as well. Nice. Um, which I hope is the case. Anyway, so <laughs> let's uh, let's go in and, and have some uh, some fun on offense. Um, so this guy, he has both the GLs, um, and uh, he uh, usually keeps both his GLs on offense, which is what I'm seeing now as well. So what I decided to do was, I decided to keep my Ray on offense, because he's going to have his SLK out on offense as well, and keep really tough teams uh, uh, for, the, uh, for my defense. Uh, so what I have in the front wall uh, down below is uh, Ray with, uh, with the heroes, which is always a tough team. And I have Finn in there, who's the extra tank and healer and cleanser. And then I have the uh, the Darth Revan team over here. And then at the back, I have uh, I have a Newt squad with uh, with uh, Nest and Django. It can get problematic, especially if you've exhausted some good teams. And I have my uh, Nihilus and, uh, and EP and uh, Scion under Maul which uh, could be problematic, especially because under Maul lead, these guys are effectively at 300 speed, and this guy's mods are pathetic, so uh, um, he probably uh, will get outsped by, by all these guys. Um, so these guys can get problematic if, uh, if, if they outspeed you. 
So oh, and I'll, re yeah. real quick, man, um, sorry to interrupt. Uh, yeah. Why don't you give people a little context on uh, what your account level is? Just because, um, sure. you know, there's there's a few non gear 13s here. And yeah. like, that's not a bad thing. But um, your account is different than me. And so, <laughs> so. Very, very different. Yeah. So I'm, uh, I'm at 6.2 million GP. Um, and uh, I have just one uh, Galactic uh, Legend, uh, Galactic Legend Ray. Um, I hadn't started my farm on SLKR before they announced uh, the new GLs. So I'm going directly for uh, Jedi Master Luke because I was much closer to that. So in a week, I'll end up having both Ray as well as Jedi Master Luke, but I'll be pretty far away from the other dark side GLs. So that's probably the, the state of my account. And I uh, I don't spend much on, on my account, like about a hundred bucks a year or something like that. So I don't have a lot of characters uh, G13 or anything like that. Like my troopers are like G11, for example. And a lot of my other characters are, are not geared as well. So you'll see me trying to use a lot of uh, cheap counters to try to take out some of my uh, my enemies. And, uh, and I like to use teams which uh, which are which which tend to get control over my opponent in on on defense so faster teams like uh like uh like mall or uh, or other teams like that so that's the back wall on uh, on down below and up front i have kept some some pretty tough teams over here um i have my my padme with the c3po because my my chewy uh, my Padme with R2 because my C3PO is with the with the CLS squad, and then I've got Shark T with the clones in there because I like to keep uh, gas on offense uh, just as a as a backup. So, pretty tough teams. Um, and my opponent, I, I think I forgot to mention, my opponent is actually about 460k lifetime banners. Well, I'm sure he is. <laughs> with, with really really terrible mods. Uh, and you'll see when I when I go through my offense, he's got really terrible mods and really terrible characters like G11, G12 on almost everyone. Um, so, so he's he's been pretty much coasting on his APK victory, which is why I think that if he does not uh, use his APK, he's he's probably not going to clear me, which is uh, which is what I think is most likely going to happen. I'm excited to see it in in action, and all uh, we. <clears throat> I love your brand of of game. Yeah. Uh, you know, you're you you do a really similar you do some similar stuff to us at least. We all we all like that crazy defense life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah usually I always keep my uh, my uh, GLs on defense, my GL on defense, but uh, given that this guy always keeps both his GL on offense, I decided to, you know, take something out cheaply with Ray and then keep other tough teams on on defense. Uh, yeah. you can see over here for the ship zone I've kept both the uh, the <laughs> So I yeah. uh, uh, want to really give this guy a tough time. So, um, so yeah, so really there's nothing in my defense which can be cheesed or troopered or anything like that. All of these guys are, uh, are pretty tough. They're either extremely fast or they require a meta team to take out. So despite the fact that I haven't kept a GL on defense, um, I think my, my defense is, is pretty, uh, it's, it's going to give my opponent some problem. Those are good banner stealing teams too. Not only are you going to mirror it, but... Like Darth Revan's gonna steal banners, CLS is gonna steal banners. Yep, absolutely. So on, uh, so on defense, my opponent has kept uh, his. Uh, so you can see over here, all his characters are more or less G12. So you can see uh, <laughs> that this guy is uh, not really, uh, and he's got horrible mods. I mean, you, you, if you see his his Galactic Legends, they've got like plus 70 speed on them, <laughs> and really terrible mods all throughout. Um, so I definitely outmod this guy and, uh, you know, definitely in terms of gear as well, his teams are really not that great. So I'm not anticipating much uh, resistance on, uh, on offense. So let's, uh, let's see how it, uh, how it plays out. I just have to laugh at the, uh, uh BB-8 is the only, he's yeah. by far the highest <laughs> level there in that team. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's uh, pretty pathetic. I mean, uh, we were just looking at your uh, R7B1, right? <laughs> yeah, right. This guy is not even G13. <laughs> so that uh. should be an easy battle for the sisters, I guess. So, so because of the fact that I'm facing an APK opponent and the result really doesn't matter, and because of the fact that I'm, I'm drinking... <laughs> <laughs> Both equally worthy yes. of consideration. Very important. You guys, so you guys are going to see some really weird stuff. On I like it. I like it. <laughs> awesome. So, um, 
and and I'll open it up to the audience as well. If you guys have some interesting suggestions that you'd like to see, uh, let me know about it. All I'm all I'm concerned about is clearing the board. As long as I clear, I'm I'm happy today, um, <laughs> because uh, uh, the outcome really doesn't matter for me. Okay, so uh, against the gas team, I so I have my ray on offense, and the and, and I know what this guy usually keeps at the back. He'll probably have a really weak bounty hunter team and a really weak G12 sisters team with Ness probably. So the gas team is probably the toughest thing I'm going to see on board. So I'm going to use my ray against that. Do you have any? Do you guys have any suggestions for what to, to take in with ray? Oh, uh... I've got. Uh, all of my resistance. I kind of feel like the vets are a lot of fun. Yeah. I... Prime Force. <laughs> Prime Force, thank you for the cheer. And he says Gar Saxon. <laughs> <laughs> Prime loves Prime loves his Gar. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think uh, so. Vets definitely are really interesting, and I don't mind uh, Scav and uh, Holdo just because Scav has got that foresight. Yeah. Which, uh, trigger holdo taunt and she's the other source of damage i guess apart from ray so let's uh let's take this against the gas i like it all right all right let's uh go in and see uh how we do let's give this to holdo since she's going to be taunting these gas fights with ray uh, yeah. Always annoy me because it always feel like, feels like you're going to lose and then you get your ultimate and you're just like, oh, <laughs> all right, there it went. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So should I heal up these guys or uh, do a whirlwind and get this guy down? Uh, I usually do a whirlwind here. All right, let's go with that. Excellent. Damage immunity, excellent. Where is fives? There he goes. Man, these guys are so slow, they haven't even gone yet. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Yeah. I, really I guess one... Find... Yeah, Go one ahead. advantage of going with weak characters is that... Uh, the whirlwind gets triggered more often, I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, let's... Uh, let's just do this. Oh, why am I targeting fives? <laughs> 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 oh god, I miss, I that's the one thing I don't miss from the gas meta is accidentally targeting fives that's taunting. All right. Um I would I save I'm that. Heal. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to heal up these guys and then I use that for against fives probably. Yeah. Yeah, good yeah. idea. And Kleso just said the same thing. Oh, oh, shit. There he goes. <laughs> Man, this is going to be horrible banners. <laughs> well, good thing he used that against... Uh, oh. Yeah, right? Ray. Wish he used it on Scav. That would have been even better. Miss it on the... All right, let's get rid of fives. <laughs> who, died, who died first, though? That's the question. <laughs> I don't think it matters at this point. <laughs> yeah. I, th I think technically Fives does from it, though, from the order of operations. I don't think he did die first, though, because... Oh, well, yeah, Fives did die first. Yeah, because Rex didn't get the uh, protection back. Yeah, nope. there we go. 52 exactly. banners. That's probably going to be the lowest banners I get today. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. This guy, this guy's watching. He's like, he's like, why, why did he only get a 50-something? Like, <laughs> why can't he get 60s? Yeah, right. Yeah, I don't get it. my APK gives me sixty four. Huh? It's yeah. weird. Yeah, <laughs> like I'm used, I'm accustomed to sixties, the low sixties. Yeah, so I want to. I've always wanted to try something really unique against Padme teams. Um, I want to try bounty hunter. So ever since I got my grief Man. up to G twelve, uh, G thirteen, well actually G twelve. Sorry, uh, I have uh, I have modded him up to about three hundred speed. My uh, my boss is also at three or four speed or something like that. And as long as you outspeed the uh, Padme team, technically speaking, you can eliminate Padme and then beat a Padme team with Bounty Hunter. So that's something that I really want to try out. Um, and today seems like a good opportunity to, to test that out. I think it is. 
You have yeah, apple juice either. going. It's you're against the cheater. You might as well. I wanted to do that. I I have tried it in fact, but um, not not super recently. I just I love the idea of getting an XQ with all those stacks. Yeah. Yeah, and these these guys aren't very fast. Two eighty four on Shock T. Oh. Two uh, eighty something on Padme as well. Two eighty nine and. Uh, and even the Anakin is modded terribly. I mean, look at this. <laughs> he's got uh, he doesn't even, he's got 150 uh, percent critical damage. And he's got a defense set on uh, cross. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> and crit chance, not even crit damage. So I'm not afraid of this guy doing tons of damage. He's not even R7 as well. So let's uh, let's do that. Let's take in our uh, our aura lead with uh, with these guys. I'm sure that I'm going to get my contract before these guys move. The question is, will Mandalorian be able to go early enough to annihilate uh, uh, Padme? So let's see if that uh, that happens. So <laughs> Poor Sue. End all taking a drink should be a channel emoji. Agreed. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to assist on GK because I don't want any of these guys from taunting. Um... Let's uh, let's continue with this. Okay, so we've got the contract. Look at that. Within, uh, <laughs> within a couple of turns, we have the contract. Wow. wow. Awesome. I am going to do this and do this again. Okay, so they're going to go a bit. Did I? <sighs> oh. I... Yeah. So oh, I was just watching. Was there a visual glitch? Because I didn't. Padme's turn meter bar looked like it was empty, and then she took the next turn. Oh, yeah, so we noticed that on my stream the other day. Oh, um, did you? That, I was yeah, watching. There, there, we were... Some turn meters are just not appearing. Oh, okay. All right. Ooh. Whoa. So, what happened was uh, Mando did get a stern, but he did not have critical damage up, and he can only execute when he has that. Oh, jeez. Okay. So, I need to... So it'll have to be a double shot, but I think I can, uh, this one gives 50% turn meter. So this is gonna give Mando his turn, and now I can annihilate Padme, and then go in with a cleanup squad. Sweet. Which is what I'll have to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, it was just an experiment. I, hey, that's, you know, no, sometimes you have cool. to. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what do we use to clean this up now? Now there's no Padme lead, so um, I can try something interesting. Let's see, what do I have? I've got tons on offense. I can try my my uh, uh, Mon Mothma squad. I can try crew. I can try bounty hunters. Without Padme lead, this team really is not that scary. No, and it's R4. <laughs> yeah. As opposed to everybody else facing R7 Padme teams. Uh yeah. Um, you think, so what do you guys feel? I want to see. I mean, I I haven't really seen that many Mothma teams on offense, frankly. I would love. I want to see that at some point tonight. Whether or not yeah. it's the right choice tonight or this this match. Maybe not with Kara that gear eight though. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't remember where uh, Anakin. If Anakin's AOE is not up, I actually don't mind using Kara in there. Right. I just I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. Um, let's see. What else can I take? Well, I can always take the Grievous Squad for my feet. Oh, that's this true. Gonna, yeah, this is going to mow through them. No problem at all. Yeah, uh, let's do that. Is that... I for, I know it's Dooku B1, B2. And Droidica as well. Is, is it just those four? I don't, I don't remember the feet because I just kind of ignored it. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's five, including Droidica and Dooku, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this is it. So you don't, you won't get stealth to start with. Yeah, that's that's the biggest question mark. All right, let's do this, and let's uh, let's go to town on these guys. Anakin first is who we are going to target down. Yeah, without Padme, this team is really really yeah. sad. <laughs> God, even the worst is when you're using Padme in offense and they have zero stacks of courage and you're just like, they're not killing anything. What's going on? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this team is uh, overkill for uh, offense. but It uh, is, yeah. 
Yeah, you get the feet. But it's uh, it's good for uh yeah, you get the feet and it's good for a cleanup. Right. 39, not bad. All right, let's see what's at the back. I'm I'm guessing sisters and bounty hunters. There we go, sisters and bounty hunters. Oh, exactly. Lord. Bam, called it. <laughs> All right. So I definitely want to use my Mothma team. I probably won't be able to use the Mothma team against any of these. Um, I'll probably use it against the Bounty Hunters then, because these Bounty Hunters are really, really slow. I mean, look at this guy, 242 Ooh. Bosk, and he's what? got uh, 450k banners, lifetime banners. <laughs> oh man, that APK life. Yeah. Yeah, so that crazy. is... Uh, that is awesome. So let's take in Mothma against these guys. And I'm going to take in my, my Karak Dune. Usually I take in a, a, a faster, like a Jin or something like that. But I'm going to outspeed these guys anyway. I think my Mothma is at... Uh, nah, Mothma is slow, but I think my, okay. my others are faster. So let's uh, let's just take this guy, these guys. All right. Okay, boss did go first. But uh, let's uh, let's see if these guys can get any damage done. Slowly but surely, let's uh, reduce some turn meter. God, Excellent. Can't... That move on Kara is so fantastic. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to keep it on, off, on uh, auto. I think that's all you need to do. Th yeah. This Mon Mothma team, with Kara removing turn meter mixed with Bistin, it's, or I mean the Pow Zeta, not Bistin. Uh, it's yeah. such a ridiculous team, turn meter it wise. It is amazing, yeah. I mean, you never let the enemy go. It's uh, it's pretty amazing. Even though the damage is low, because most of my characters are like G9, G10, but the uh, the sheer amount of turn meter generation, it's it's insane. I haven't done a, an auto battle in GAC for a while, so this is this is fun. <laughs> nice, you get a drink and play. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I so I I faced basically this Mon Mothma team only. It was full R7. With my Sith trio, and my Scion took two and a half minutes to get one turn. Mm. I should. I afterwards I was like, oh, if I just brought Marauder, and I would have won easy. But of course, those are what you think afterwards. I just got my Mothma up to uh, gear thirteen for the uh, the Luke event uh, yeah. yesterday. So I'm looking forward to uh, to keeping Mothma on defense uh, next week. It's going to be good. Yeah, I uh, mine should be the same next week. I need to try and once I finish Luke, I need to get Kara up. I need that extra twenty speed on her. <laughs> she <laughs> yeah. she's been gear eleven, so I gear the characters as soon as they come out to gear eleven. So she's been gear eleven for like two and a half months. Yeah, and I I just need to get her up, but. They announced the Galactic Legends, and there went all my gear that was planned for her. Yeah, Kara is my next pet project after uh, Luke, definitely. Yeah, seeing this, I might, I, I might be inclined to agree. Yeah, sixty. Yep. That was awesome, man. That was Tons really fun to watch. Yeah, and uh, you know, their boss went first, and despite that, these guys were able to do a decent right. job. Right. Yeah. All right, what do I have left? I've got tons, actually. I've got uh, my, <laughs> got my sisters. I've got my Luke. I've got my Jedi. So the toughest team remaining behind is probably going to be the. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to solo that uh, that that uh, that uh, Geo Squad with Vader. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm going to. Uh, I'm definitely going to do that. <laughs> I didn't even check speed, but it should be fine. <laughs> I didn't, didn't check speed. <laughs> hold hold <right>. my beer. <laughs> hold my uh, Angel's Envy <laughs> bourbon. Oh, oh had, so... Brew didn't get a single debuff. Yeah. Mm, I think you, yeah. you need to one shot the. Try to take out that spy, spy though. Oh, yeah. he only has. That's a good call. Oh, he only had one, but no matter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Coggle's like, I want to wow. die too. G12 uh, Geos for the win. No kidding. Wow. I wonder if... Uh, I mean, he's got Merciless. I wonder if this will uh, take care of him. No. no. Uh, if you crit, it would have. Yeah. He's a high tenacity brood, apparently. Apparently, yeah. Well, the damage is gone, so we'll get 63 instead of 64. <laughs> Forsu. Vader has no turn meter. It's, that's the APK, right? <laughs> <laughs> 
yeah, yeah I think this if I remember correctly this particular uh, this particular beta was modded for this particular G- brood alpha was modded for uh, tenacity yeah but it shouldn't be a problem I'll end with the uh, 63 yeah, good enough was, entertaining to see <laughs> that's fancy F this is cool we get to see all this this random yeah. awesome these awesome counters this is good all right now these are really pathetic sisters they, I, want to try my, <laughs> I want to try my wampa against this maybe stormtrooper han watt and wampa i like it yeah let's go with that so last time i was on the uh, the stream with you guys my wampa failed spectacularly it, <laughs> i remember that everyone was so disappointed <laughs> i know which is really embarrassing for me so <laughs> i'm hoping that this is uh <laughs> this is not a repeat and my wampa is able to redeem himself and i'm gonna go in with Vader really lead funny. with uh what and wampa do you guys feel i should take anyone else I've been drinking. It's up to Jareth. <laughs> I would say no, but okay. This I've been drinking as well, so, so I, I I vote for no as well. <laughs> I'm all I, I'm always just like uh, you can't see it from my house, so <laughs> I would love right. to see this actually. Yolo, let's go. <laughs> Yolo. So I'm gonna get both the texts out right away, and then uh, let's uh, let's go with these guys. Oh, that was a fast nest. It was, yeah. All Not right. that it probably matters, yeah. And let's do this. There's no damage on this team, so I'm not that worried about uh, Han right. over there. Look at that. One shot that zombie, sweet. <laughs> uh, who do you want to one shot? Uh, Daka, just because it's fun. <laughs> The Daka is G12, no Zeta. <laughs> <laughs> well, this guy totally deserves that level of high banners. Yeah. Yep. Clearly knows what he's doing. With If, yeah. if he can win with this roster. <laughs> there goes Ness. <laughs> no. okay. I wouldn't. Well, yeah. <laughs> She's like, what, no, I don't know. I wanted to get killed first. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> what are the odds that this AoE takes all of them out? Oh, I hope so. Or maybe, dude. Oh, do slow do motion wanna... if you're gonna do it, though. Yeah, let's let's do that. <laughs> I was almost gonna uh, try to recover banners on the rest, but this is more fun. So I yeah, it know. is. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> uh, that's ah, nice. fifty-nine is good enough. Nice. So that was fun. That yeah. was cool. And let's see what I want to take against these guys. Um, yeah, actually. I will be right back, guys. I'm going to grab a beer because in our break, I need to actually do work. So I'll be right back. <laughs> Sounds good. So I have both my my Night Sisters as well as two really good uh, Jedi squad. Mm, let's see. Maybe Night Sisters versus uh, Grievous or, uh, or one of the Jedis. Mm. So yeah, I mean, Ooh, you I've could got... almost you could like split them up. You have general, you have general Skywalker left. I've got Sky as well. Yeah, I've got General Skywalker. So, hmm, you know what? I think I might go with. Uh... Hmm. So it's got BB-8 in it. So it's not. I'm not going to be outsped in that team. But I yeah. could go with Basti lead General Skywalker against the Grievous, and then. Uh... The rest of the Jedi against the Newt squad, which is pretty weak, actually. Yeah, you probably still want Revan in with Basti, right? Mm, yeah. Then what can I use against Newt? Well, so you have you you'd have Luke left. I mean, honestly, I I would think that Luke would almost like maybe not solo it, but you know. But yeah, Luke with a few uh, other Jedi's could probably do the Newt team pretty well. Maybe with I these Jedi's, so. yeah. Yeah. So how about these two squads? The Revan squad against uh, oh, that's perfect. GG with uh, General Skywalker and uh, Luke against uh, Newt. 
Yeah, I think that works perfectly, honestly. Yeah. And uh, should I go with Basti lead or uh, JKR lead? You're trying new things, man. I, I think you should go with uh, Basti lead because you've only ever done Jedi. Or Je yeah, yeah Jedi I haven't Batman. tried Basti lead in a while. So against uh, Grievous, Basti lead, right? Oh, especially with BB-8 there. Uh, that's yeah. that's my, you know, like against against the uh, middle comps, like the Newts and uh, Droidica as fifth. I, I'd say like, well, yeah, Jedi Revan works. I, I've i seen so many times where Jedi Revan just gets completely plowed mm. under um, as the lead yeah. against BB-8 because they take so many turns right away. Good point. Yeah, I've heard that uh, Basti is better against a BB-8 lead as well, so all the additional tenacity and all that i think it'll be it'll be good all right yolo let's go yolo let's go <clears throat> oh it's still at one speed <laughs> solo he's doing uh basti <laughs> lead here but with nice. skywalker uh who do i want to pass this on to um we could get try to get a daze off like yeah that's ahead. a good idea See, this is against BB-8. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that was brutal. Against... Uh, B2 hasn't even gone yet. That's, that's amazing. B2's like, I'm good. I don't yeah. <laughs> And still... What's, oh, going, that on? Is amazing. What's going on with B2? Like, there it is. Like, I'm just chilling, guys. It's we're good. We're All right. Good. YOLO. Should I go for Grievous or should I go for uh, B2? I would still go for B2. I, I mean, uh, you have you have so much gear, you're going to just take yeah. it out. But... Yeah. Oh, man, <laughs> Gas is so much fun with this team. Yeah, I, it looks like he is. I've never tried it. Well, I guess I've tried variants of this, in fact. In fact, this is actually very similar to what I yeah. used to take out Galactic Legends. This is close to the new Glucum, yeah. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Well, there we go. There it is. <laughs> Welcome back. Stun this guy. All right, let's apply an armor shred over here. Take care of uh, B1. <laughs> and as well at the same time. Oh, wow. <laughs> gas is gas so nuke him. <laughs> it's a gas nuke him instead of Luke. <laughs> oh, uh, that, is, uh, that is pretty satisfying. <laughs> yeah. All fun. right. Time for some uh, Jedi Luke action. Let's see. This team, let's see what else Jedi I have. It, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. I mean, those are good enough. It's should I should I go undersized? No Ezra or Barris. I mean, uh, if you need them for your feet, then I... yeah, you might as well go for the feet. I don't really need it for the feet because I think with the ships I should be able to complete the feats. Okay. So. Uh, yeah, I think Ezra might come in handy with the dispel. Yeah, the one I would, I would take Barris out before I took Ezra out personally. Agreed. Yeah, let's let's do this. Yeah, Yolo. <laughs> Yolo. All right, let's. Oh, uh, here. What's gonna? Do we take on Watch first? Probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because he has revives. Yeah. Not not that it would probably matter yeah. here, but. Ironic. He, he had the he has the power to revive other people but couldn't revive <laughs> himself <laughs> uh let's see who do we want you to could go you could call luke against droidica and dispel because luke yeah. go first and dispel good idea yeah ray rock is very disappointed that there's no cam in this team <laughs> oh, that's a good point we could have seen our a gear eight cam yeah oh well Hmm. Let's it's see. been a while killing Django here in a minute. Or hitting I did this on my alt, and it took me like... I think my Jedi got four or five turns before I got to kill a Django. <laughs> I mean, I still did it easy and finished with high banners, but... There goes Django. Yep. And there he goes twice. Yep. <laughs> he took two turns before Newt took his second turn. <laughs> 61 nice all right so that's the character zone 
1792. I I'd really like to end end with more than 1800. I think that's a decent score with just the characters. And is that finalizers his top fleet? It is finalizer and Tarkin. So <laughs> all right. Some fun with this. So I have my both my get ships on defense. So I'm gonna have to use rebels and Radis against these guys. Yeah. Well, rebels should not go against the. Oh, he doesn't even have the bomber in there. I didn't yeah, even notice tie, that. Yeah, his tie bomb is only four star or five star or something. Okay. Like that. But uh, I think either way works. Um, I'll probably use. Uh, Mm, I don't know, uh, finalizer or rebels. Well, he you said he has both galactic legends, so the finalizer is the better gear of the two. Yeah, it is. So I can probably take my rebels against that. Yeah, mm, I, I think that's probably the move. Yeah. All right, let's go in with the uh, rebels. <laughs> Says the guy that lost in ships tonight. <laughs> uh, I think this should be enough. I'm not going to take any more. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see if this does the job. They're probably going to go first, and depends on who they put Hunted on. Oh, they didn't even go to get force. The ship didn't even go first. Wow. Oh, now it does. And put Hunted on Millennium Falcon. Not great. Yep. Uh, I am going to heal up my Biston because he is crucial to my fleet. Oh, why am I targeting this guy? I should target uh, Kylo Ren. Yeah. Well, that's what comes when you have a couple of drinks. <laughs> <laughs> I know the pain. I know the pain well. <laughs> uh, let's... Uh... Let's get this guy in. So I don't remember what Hunted does. It does it. Uh, does it allow you to assist? I think it does. You just don't gain turn meter, right? Yeah. Yeah, it does uh, allow you to assist. Yeah. Okay, that's down. Uh, yeah, they this do more do? damage to you, I think. Well, yeah, I think that's part of it too. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Get rid of him. All right. It's not relevant here, but one of the things I like about Cassian is you can you can give him a, a dispel and immediately get another turn, so you can cycle your buffs or your mm. specials a little yeah. bit faster. There we go. Nice. 63. Not the best, but uh, we're not counting banners hey, tonight. So anything over good. anything over 60 in fleets, I'm happy with. Yeah. All right, Empire. Now we're going to take our Radis. And I've been having pretty good success with Radis lately. These days I climb an arena against uh, not only Malevolence, but even Grievous, uh, even uh, Negotiator fleets. I, my, I'm having pretty good success with the, uh, with the Radis. Awesome. So Radis is actually one of the... Uh, uh, one of my go-to ships on uh, on offense. Let's take these and... Oh, you start with the Falcon on the bench? I do, just uh, I really love the days that uh, Resistance X-Wing has. Okay, that's fair. This should be more than enough. I don't think I need more ships. So the key with Radis is uh, keep doing... Um, I have to get rid of the Darth Vader first. So the key is to keep doing specials as long as you have uh, uh, foresight on you. Um, and now I am going to give uh, this guy some turn meter so that he can start taunting. And then let's... Uh, so he has foresight and so let's get rid of this guy. Nice. 
And now I have foresight. So uh, I know that this ability does damage and this one doesn't, but I always like to use this ability just because uh, it gets, uh, when you use uh, a special ability with any of the resistance fleet while having foresight, it reduces the cooldown of your uh, Radis's ultimate. So I always like to do this. Man, Poe. I remember back like a year and a half ago, I had one friend in game that was just like, Poe is the best ship in the game, and now that everybody has him R5 because of Ray, he does so much damage. <laughs> he does. He does <laughs> tremendous amounts of damage. And uh, he uh, uh, he's extremely fast as well. One of the fastest ships in the game. Yeah. It was actually Zareth. It was Salty. All he would talk about would be uh, Poe and Fleets. This was before Negotiator. Uh, I... I used to say the same thing about Poe, actually. I, I loved loved me some Poe. <laughs> uh, yeah, I had him gear 11. Yeah, the, that X-Wing is so good. 152k yeah. damage. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, let's, uh, let's get the other one out. Yeah, get that retribution off. Yeah. So a few ships that you, sh you guys should always keep on offense. Um, Cassian and uh, uh, and Gauntlet, just because of their... Uh, actually, Plo and Gauntlet for their cleanse ability, and Cassian and... Uh, um, I forget the other one. I'm too drunk. But uh, for their <laughs> cleanse ability, essentially. Ebonhawk. Ebonhawk, that's the one, yeah. <laughs> that's, so, yeah. Yeah, so those those four ships always keep on offense. Um, they're extremely flexible and they allow you your fleet to to gain control quite a lot. All right, so how much did we end with? Twenty one oh five. Okay, that's a solid. That's actually for a loss. That's a solid score. Very solid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For a loss. So let's see what my opponent does. I mean, he'll probably beat the score, but uh, if he uses the APK. But uh, I'm hoping he gets banned before that. Um, so <laughs> let's, uh, let's see. Let's hope. Let's yeah. hope for humiliation. <laughs> All right. So then I think we're good to s switch over, go to a quick break, and we'll switch over to Zareth's account now. Heck yeah, let's do it to it. All right, guys, we'll be back real quickly. Just need to switch accounts. All right, so that was the live stream. And before I... Go ahead and show you guys the results. Just wanted to talk you talk through a little bit about what I did uh, and my approach to tackling this uh, this cheater. So the very first thing I did was I reached out to uh, uh, I went to the forum, reached out to Lucifer's daddy, and uh, and told him that uh, you know there's a potential cheater in my matchup. We gave him all the proof. We gave him the details of the of the ally code and all that. And uh, CG was pretty good about it. Uh, Lucifer's daddy came in and uh, and asked CG Leviathan to investigate it, and they started uh, investigating the account and battles. Uh, uh, I think yesterday they started, so it'll probably take a little while, but they'll conclude the investigation and probably take some action pretty soon. So that is the first thing I did. Secondly, I reached out uh, directly to uh, to this guy Baro in uh, Discord, and. Uh, you know, I confronted him, told him that, hey, I see there's, there's something fishy happening with your battles. There's just no way you can uh, you can have those kind of battles. And I told him that I had gone ahead and reported him to uh, Lucifer's daddy and CG. And uh, he obviously tried to uh, claim innocence and uh, and said that, hey, there's, uh, there's absolutely no way that I'm cheating and, and all this is alleged battle. Then he said that Padme versus Esselkiar apparently is, uh, is something which is pretty common. So, you know, I wanted to spook him out before he had a chance to go into the battles just to let him know that that CG is, is watching his account. And if he does anything funny, he uh, potentially could be banned. So that's the, that's the fear of God that I put into him as the second step. Now, as a result of that, when you see the, uh, the final battle history, uh, I actually had a win against Barrow. He... Uh, I had scored 2105. He went in and uh, did not use an APK, or at least didn't do so blatantly. And he uh, managed to clear me, uh, but struggled a bit on my defenses. Uh, the Finn team gave him a 
the heroes team gave him a couple of battles over here the uh, mall team gave him a couple of battles as well um, but he one shot the rest to uh, end at uh, about 30 banners less than me uh, he had both his galactic legends on offense as well as uh, tons of really good offensive teams but so even though his mods weren't that good he did manage to one shot me for about 30 banners lesser than uh, than what i had uh, made so that was uh, that was a final outcome i did manage to get the win uh, but that was uh, that wasn't enough what i also did was reached out to his guild leader and uh, told him that uh, hey just made him aware of the issue that i've reached out to cg that this particular person in his guild is a suspected cheater and uh, and he did mention that you know uh, pending the investigation from cg uh, if what what it is what what i'm saying was true he would pro he would probably kick this guy off from the guild so ultimately i think uh, you know i'm pretty happy with the outcome i think uh, cg at least is going to be uh, taking uh, good action against this guy and i'm hoping that uh, that they that they at least uh, ban him for uh, for a little while to to dissuade him from using these kind of uh, methods in the future um, it really the game just doesn't become any any fun when you have people like these openly flaunting the rules you want uh, you want fair competition you want people who have spent the time and effort to build up their own accounts to have uh, those characters and mods have some value and going up against characters like these it just uh, it just devalues your uh, your own efforts that's my opinion anyway that's the end of uh, my story with barrow hopefully i i don't get to meet any more characters like that uh, using you know uh, freestyle apks and cheating uh, with all abandon and uh, hopefully this is the last we see of uh, of that all right i'll catch you guys in a couple of days when we uh, when we go into the finals uh, we are facing uh, my next opponent is splix uh, let's uh, let's hope we have a, a really good match in the finals i'll see you guys in a couple of days thanks for tuning in